Dr. Julian Bales is here now from North Shore University Health System, one of the opening plenary speakers. Wow, a packed house in there. <laughs> it, was it was really great. You are one of the most foremost authorities on concussion and chronic traumatic encephalopathy. I mean, even the movie Concussion, for those who don't know, Alec Baldwin played you. Now talking about this concept of safety, explain. Safety is a new initiative with industry support to really look at advances in the basic science, the imaging, and imaging while someone's still alive is very important, and hopefully uh, therapeutics, hopefully getting a treatment. Let's look into the future a little bit and the possibilities of this because it is so frustrating to not be able to diagnose CTE until after someone has passed. To be able to maybe ultimately see some changes while they're alive and affect some change. It's vitally important. In fact, I've said it's the holy grail of this issue. Now, CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which you said exactly right, I'm impressed is really means you can have brain changes or brain degeneration years later. Now we hope that through the work that's been done and is going to be done, that that becomes a thing of the past. But for people who participate in sports, people who get in industrial accidents, and military, especially the ones that get repetitive injuries, uh, this issue is vitally important. And the World Health Organization says that it's going to be the number one health problem in the near future by the year 2020 mental health and the effects of traumatic brain injury where are we now in terms of what we can offer patients well that's uh, another part of the problem we really don't have a way to make a diagnosis except after death and as i always say you know we can't help that many patients out if we tell them their diagnosis after they're dead so we're really looking at, at focusing on making the diagnosis while they're alive, as you alluded to, so that you can understand it, you can see the progression, see who gets it and perhaps why, maybe pull them out of harm's way if they're a military service member and they've gotten exposed to multiple blast injuries, and then lead to following what happens to it, understanding it more, and one day therapeutics. Right now, we don't have any therapy for it. So where are we now in terms of the study? Do you need more people to come forward to help you out with that in addition to potentially helping themselves by being involved? We, we need all of those things and we need funding for, for clinical trials and that's a big part of what the CTN, the Clinical Trials Network, hopefully will be helping us with. And all these things, looking at the basic science, looking at making this diagnosis is key to one day taking people out of harm's way or designing therapy for them in all these years that you have been studying, would you say that there is more reason to be hopeful now? Well, there is. It's said that we know more about brain injury in the last decade than we ever knew before. In the meantime, we're trying to take people out of harm's way. We're trying to reduce excessive contact in sports, gratuitous head contact. We know that hitting your head doesn't help anybody. But the military issue is, is persuasive and, and, and is going to be out there for a long time. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do. Well, Dr. Bales, thank you so much for all the research you're doing and trying to help people. Thank you.